And guess what, South Carolina? What's up guys, it's your boy Mayhem Matthew. Today we're going to be talking about the South Carolina Gamecocks and it is time to stop being Mr. Nice Guy. It is time to stop being Mr. Nice Guy. Um, I have came on here and said that South Carolina is probably going to go 8-4 and four this year, which they might, right? But it, it, it's, it's time to be, uh, the we. it's time to face the facts, okay? I was watching the Spurs Up show uh, today and somebody had called in crying that they need to get over the hump uh, versus Missouri and that they're glad they got over the hump versus Kentucky and um, you know they're glad they got over the hump with Texas A&M and they finally got over the hump versus Clemson and and uh, they want to build momentum and and uh, can they ever get over the hump with Missouri and Eli Drink was just crying crying crying. Listen, let's just face the facts, okay? Um, Kentucky's a better football program than you today. I don't care if they beat you last year. Uh, anybody could have beat Kentucky uh, with what they trotted out last year. Uh, they had a they had a quarterback that's never seen uh, a football field before. Uh, suspended running backs, a uh, bunch of injuries on that uh, Kentucky uh, football team. Um, and and listen, Kentucky is a uh, it has no depth on their football team. And guess what, South Carolina? You don't either. Um, if you had as much injuries and suspensions as Kentucky did and you leveled out the playing field, Kentucky would have beat you. Um, they almost beat you this time uh, with, all, with all the stuff that, that was going on. But guess what? Um, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And, um, you know, a win is a win. So... Uh, hats off to you. Um, a win is a win. You 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 barely beat um, a beat up Kentucky. Congratulations! And y'all are over here like, yay! We finally got over the hump. We finally got over the hump. Go Cox! Ah, ah, ah. I mean, stop that mess. Stop it. Stop that mess. Y'all sound stupid. Okay, Kentucky's a better football program than you today. Missouri is a better football pro program than you today. You haven't beat Missouri in the last four years. Last time you beat them was 2018. They're a better football program than you today. Eli Drinkwitz is your daddy. I hope you got him something for Father's Day. Just accept reality that more than half of the SEC owns you. You're not that great of a football program. You're just not. I can name off a string of SEC teams that are better than you. Starting with Kentucky, Missouri, Georgia, Clemson, A&M, LSU, Alabama, Ole Miss. Come on now. Florida even waxed your behind last year. And I know what the Carolina fans are going to say, right? Well, we beat Tennessee and Clemson in back-to-back -back weeks. Yeah, congratulations. You get lucky sometimes, okay? And I know what y'all are going to say. Well, how's that luck? You went back-to-back -back versus top 10 teams. Well, you was riding the gravy train with biscuit wheels. You think you're really going to repeat the that same success this year in 2023? You really believe that? Come on now. You, you you can't really believe that. You really think you're going to beat Tennessee and Clemson again? You're going to repeat that same success? You're not. You're, go you're not going to. Okay? It was, it was pure luck. You was riding the gravy train with biscuit wheels. Okay? That's all you was doing. You had a good run. Your run is over. Okay? Just accept the fact that Kentucky and... Missouri and Clemson and A&M and Tennessee and all these other teams are just better than you right now. I call money. I call money. I call money. Double tap. Shout mayhem, Matthew.